on Twitter, I posted that, um, you know, I lost to two low-rated players yesterday to, cre- to keep Kramnik off the scent. I said, but obviously Nakamura, uh, Naroditsky, and B- Benjamin Bach, very suspicious. And then I said, um, Kramnik lost his mind. And then Kramnik responded, and he said, at least I had one. So I think, but I'm not sure, English isn't his first language. I think, but I'm not sure, that he's insinuating that I never had a mind. So he lost his mind, but at least he had one. Or he's just making fun of himself. I I can't tell if he's just being funny or he's insinuating I never had a mind. Either way is funny. So, and so forth. Yeah, a reporter asked the Tampa Bay coach, um, are you concerned about the weather in Detroit because it's so cold? And the coach said they, they play indoors, so the weather's the same. And then she went, oh. No, the weather in Atlanta is very cold. That's right. I I said that Kramnik was crazy like Fox News, and Fox News sent me a cease and desist, not to compare him with Kramnik. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with Kramnik. And I, I tried to explain this to him, but he probably doesn't read my posts very often. And if he did, he would ignore them. But I, I posted that those numbers like, are basically meaningless. And he's spending all of his free time posting numbers and explaining how everybody cheats but him. Also, he claims when he posts numbers for certain people, he's not accusing them of cheating He's just providing information and we can make up our own mind. But yeah, I mean, I mean, posting numbers for Nakamura, Carlson, uh, Naroditsky, Benjamin Bach. And then he says, let's look at their ratings over 2023 based on their FIDE blitz and their slow rating and then compare it to their online ratings and their scores. So it sounds like he's accusing them of cheating. Why is he providing so much information if he doesn't think they cheated? Like, is he is he exonerating them? So I don't know. But yeah, I mean, Kramnik used to be the best player in the world. And now he's like way worse than he used to be, like most people our age. And in Blitz Chess Online, he claims that he doesn't pre-move. How could you play title Tuesday and not pre-move? How's that possible? Wouldn't you lose every game? I mean, you can't, if you're not pre-moving, then, you know, you're playing much slower than everybody. And Kramnik is obviously worse at blitz chess than he was 20 years ago. Um, And Komsky does the same thing. He just does it differently. Komsky doesn't put so much work in it. Komsky doesn't say, here's the scores and... You know, here's the opponents, and here's their ratings, and here's what I think of them, and here's how they do in this tournament. I mean, he just says, like, he plays an IM, and he loses, and he says they cheated. I mean, that's... Kowski's much more down to earth. He's like, that guy cheated, he's an IM, and there's no way an IM could play better than me, so he cheated. Once again, uh, Kowski is way worse than he was at his peak, And I think Kramnik and Komsky don't realize that they're like 150 points less than they used to be. And this is why Kasparov retired in his 40s. Because, you know, he's number one. If he's not number one, he's retiring. He's not going to be number five in the world and playing in Tata Steel and coming in fourth. That's, he he doesn't do that. 
So Kasparov retired immediately when it was clear he was worse than he used to be. Occasionally he plays now, and he's always fighting for last place. If there's 10 players, he comes in eighth or ninth, and then they say how great he is. So I don't know. But yeah, Kramnik, when, when, he, when he was playing, people thought he lost his mind because he kept saying he was winning in positions where he wasn't better. He did that a lot. And we made fun of him for that. We would say that Kramnik says white's winning, and if he has black, then black's winning. That reminds me of something funny I heard a long time ago. Over 20 years ago, uh, Shabalov walked up to a board in the Skittles room where I was analyzing with Dmitry Gurevich. And I said to Shabalov, who do you think is better here? And he's, his reply was, what does Dmitry think? Whatever Dmitry says, I say the opposite. So that was, that's how he evaluated positions, to see what somebody else said, and then the opposite. Now, I do that too. Like, if I don't know what's right or wrong politically, I listen to somebody that's always wrong, and then I just do the other side. That, that makes it easy. That, that makes life a lot easier. And by wrong, I mean any Republican on any issue. So... Kramnik, Caruana, 2018 candidates. Kramnik played in the 2018 candidates? Wow, that is six years ago. It seemed like it was last year. Six years ago, Kramnik was better than he is now. <laughs> 